everyone. Today we are going to learn the difference between dependent and independent variable. The concept is very easy but usually most of the students get confused when they came across the variables that what is independent and what is dependent variable. So today I am going to clear your concept that how they differ from each other. So first of all we will start with the with the concept of cause and effect. So what is the cause and what is the effect? So in this case, if you have the two variables and you will um, and they are uh, related in such a way that one is the cause and the other is the effect, then how you will distinguish uh, whether the cause is a dependent variable or the independent variable and what whether the effect is a dependent variable or the independent variable. So let's see how it how you can see that. As the name indicates, dependent variable is dependent on some other variable. It means that it has itself has no properties in a way that can change its values. It is dependent on some other variable that when changes will cause an impact on the dependent variable. So it means independent variable is the cause that is that is impacting on the dependent variable and the result will be the change in the dependent variable so i can say that if i place the arrows here like this so independent variable will change the dependent variable dependent variable is dependent on independent variable so dependent word is indicating easily um, that it is dependent on some other variable and here in case it is dependent on independent variable while independent variable is not dependent on any variable it is just changing and the change in the independent variable is causing a change in the dependent variable so we can say that independent variable is the cause and dependent variable is the effect as i uh, mentioned with the red that uh, whatever i will write in the red will refer to the property or uh, will refer to the properties of the independent variable and whatever whatever I will write in blue will refer to the properties of dependent variable. So it means independent variable is causing a causing something or a change or you can say causing a change in the dependent variable and dependent variable is causing an effect as a result. So we can say that cause is related to the independent variable and effect is related to the dependent variable that independent variable is causing a change in the dependent variable another important thing about them is a dependent variable is dependent variable is the one that will be changed while independent variable will not change independent variable is impacting on the dependent variable while independent variable is controllable dependent variable is controllable what does it mean Independent variable is controllable by the researcher who is changing values of the independent variable. It means you can change the values of the independent variable so that it has an impact on the dependent variable. So that you can check, you can analyze whether the change in the independent variable has an impact on dependent variable or not. So you are not going to change the value of de dependent variable. It will be changed. It will not be controlled. But the independent variable is going to be controllable by the researcher and it can control the other variable by impacting on the dependent variable. Another important thing regarding dependent variable is in terms of the graphical representation. When we draw the graph, the dependent variable will be positioned vertically. That is on the vertical side. Like, like if I draw here a graph on the x, x one is x axis and the other is y axis. So dependent variable will be on the y-axis while independent variable will be positioned horizontally that is it will be on the x-axis it will be uh, marked on the x-axis this is like that that is uh, uh, the uh, independent variable will be represented on the x-axis and the dependent variable will be represented on the y-axis now let's take the example you will understand its concept in, in a much better way when there are examples so we have the first example here we have the two variables one is the test marks and the other is the intelligence now it is clear here that test marks is a dependent variable and intelligence is a independent variable but how if i like write it like in a way as i mentioned above test marks are basically test marks are dependent on intelligence 
that if a person is is intelligent he will get better marks if a person is less intelligent he will get less marks so it means it means test marks are dependent on intelligence so test mark is a dependent variable and intelligence is the independent variable that is affecting the test mark due to intelligence the test marks are varying so if the person is intelligent test marks will be better if a person is not then a test marks will not be better so it means they are relating to each other in this way another example is employee motivation and bonus these are the two variables now how they are related they are related in a way that employee motivation is dependent on bonus it's dependent on bonus it means employees will be more motivated if the bonus amount is increased or if you gave them the bonus or if you do, do an increment in the bonus it means if the bonus is increased employee motivation will increase otherwise it will vary it means employees motivation is varying on the basis of the bonus so bonus is an independent variable and employee motivation is a dependent variable because it is dependent on the bonus you cannot say that bonus is dependent on employee motivation because employees are basically motivated when you give them the increment so it means the causing thing that are, that is causing the motivation is the bonus so bo- bonus is an independent variable the so the variable that is the cause is the independent variable and that is the effect that is the motivation here is the dependent variable then we have another example sunburn and the time spent in sunlight these are the two variables now how they are related time spent in sunlight is causing the sunburn so the cause is the time spent in sunlight and effect is the sunburn that as a result of spending much time in the sunlight you have got a sunburn so here sunburn is the dependent variable and time spent in the sunlight is an independent variable one is the cause and the other is the effect see this example in the other way around like if you say sunburn is a independent variable and time spent in sunlight is dependent variable it means the sunburn is the cause and time spent in sunlight is the effect so it is not so and it's very clear uh, that sunburn is not the cause it is the result it is the effect so this is how you can differentiate another example is plant growth and amount of water these are another two variables now plant growth is the effect plant basically grow as a result of some uh, you can say um, some factors due to sunlight due to water due to um uh, due to soil so these are the different things that affect the growth of the plant so plant growth itself is a dependent variable that is dependent on the other factors for you know, the plant is dependent on other factors for growing so here plant growth is a dependent variable and independent variable is the amount of water here means how much water you are giving to the plant if you increase the amount of water it will grow better so here again plant growth is a dependent variable while amount of water is a independent variable so this is how they relate to each other now one more example i will mention here is this equation y is equals to x plus 2 so this equation is also representing a relation between the two variables and this, there is also the dependent and independent variable in this equation so as the color indicates that y is the dependent variable and x is the independent variable but how if i write here if the value of x is equals to 1 then the value of y will be equals to 3 so it means so if x is equals to 1 we will get y is equals to 3 that is if we put the value of x is equals to 1 1 plus 2 is equals to 3 it means the value of y is dependent on x if x will get become 0 it will change the value of y if x will become 7 it will change the value of y it means y is not having its own well it means hence the value of y is dependent on x so x is independent variable it has its own values it is controllable its value can be changed while the value is totally dependent on x that if the value of x becomes 1 it beca- y will change accordingly if it's 0 y will change accordingly so y is a dependent variable and x is an independent variable 
so hope so it this today's lecture will be helpful for you in understanding the difference between the dependent and independent variable once you get the concept regarding the cause and effect your concept will be clear that's all from today's lecture thank you